What does it mean to be truly wealthy? And how can wealth influence power and politics? In the annals of history, one name stands out when we think of immense wealth and its impact on politics, Marcus Crassus. Crassus, a man of the Roman era, was not just a wealthy individual, he was one of the richest men in the entire history of Rome. His wealth was not merely an accessory, it was a tool, a weapon that he wielded with cunning and precision to sculpt the political landscape of his time. From bankrolling the Roman army to suppress the Spartacus revolt, to aiding the rise of Julius Caesar, Crassus's wealth was his trump card in the grand game of power and politics. His story is a testament to the enduring power of wealth and its ability to shape empires. Let us delve into the life of Marcus Crassus, a man whose wealth knew no bounds and whose influence shaped the Roman Empire. Born into a wealthy family in 115 BC, Marcus Crassus was destined for greatness. His lineage opened doors for him, but it was his own cunning and ambition that truly set the stage for his rise. Raised in the lap of luxury, Crassus was privy to the machinations of power and wealth from an early age. He was tutored by the best minds in Rome and was given a detailed education in politics, philosophy, and economics. But Crassus was not content to simply inherit his family's wealth. He had a keen eye for opportunity and a ruthless streak that allowed him to capitalize on it. Crassus's first ventures into business were marked by a certain audacity. He would buy properties ravaged by fire or war at a steep discount, then rebuild and sell them at a significant profit. This strategy, while unorthodox, proved to be extremely lucrative. But Crassus didn't stop there. Seeing an opportunity to prevent such disasters and further his own wealth, Crassus created the first fire brigade in Rome. This was no altruistic endeavor, though. His firefighters would only extinguish the flames if the property owners agreed to sell their land to Crassus at a fraction of its value. This audacious yet shrewd business strategy further increased his wealth and influence in Rome. But for Crassus, wealth was not an end in itself. It was a means to an end, a tool that he could use to achieve his political ambitions. And with the immense wealth he had amassed, Crassus now had the means to make a significant impact on the political landscape of Rome. Crassus began to use his wealth to fund political campaigns, curry favor with influential figures, and even buy the loyalty of the Roman populace. His wealth allowed him to navigate the treacherous waters of Roman politics and climb the ladder of power. Crassus's wealth grew exponentially, and with it, his political ambitions. His story is a testament to the power of wealth and ambition, a tale of a man who used his fortune not just to live in luxury, but to shape the very fabric of Roman society. In 73 BC, Marcus Crassus faced one of his greatest challenges, the Spartacus Revolt. This revolt was a significant slave uprising against the Roman Republic, led by the gladiator Spartacus. But where others saw turmoil, Crassus saw opportunity, an opportunity to flex his financial muscles and demonstrate his leadership. As the revolt grew, Rome found itself in desperate need of military help. Crassus, with his immense wealth, was in a unique position to provide that help. He financed and led an army of about 6,000 men to track down and defeat Spartacus. This was no small feat given Spartacus's cunning and the loyalty of his followers, but Crassus was undeterred. He was determined to crush the revolt and restore order. In his pursuit of victory, Crassus was ruthless. He was known to use decimation, a brutal form of military discipline, to keep his troops in line. This practice involved the execution of every tenth soldier in a unit chosen by lot as punishment for the whole group. This extreme measure, while horrifying, served its purpose. It instilled fear in his troops and ensured their loyalty, which was crucial in the face of an enemy as formidable as Spartacus. After a series of battles, Crassus finally cornered Spartacus and his remaining followers in southern Italy. In a final stand, Spartacus was killed and the revolt was effectively quashed. Crassus had not only succeeded in defeating Spartacus, but he had also demonstrated his commitment to Rome and its values. This victory further solidified his status as a military leader and enhanced his political standing. Crassus's wealth had enabled him to raise and equip an army, his strategic acumen had guided them to victory, and his ruthless discipline had kept them in line. His role in ending the Spartacus revolt showcased his abilities as a leader and his dedication to Rome. But it was more than just a military victory. It was a political triumph. It elevated Crassus's status in Rome and added to his already immense wealth. His victory over Spartacus only bolstered his political standing and wealth. In the game of power, Crassus was a player to be reckoned with, and his role in the Spartacus revolt was a testament to that. His wealth and victory over Spartacus propelled Crassus into a powerful political alliance known as the First Triumvirate. This political powerhouse was made up of Marcus Crassus, Julius Caesar, and Pompey. 
three of Rome's most influential figures. Crassus, with his immense wealth, played the role of the financier, bankrolling the ambitions of his fellow triumvirs. He funded Caesar's political campaigns, enabling him to climb the ranks of Roman politics and eventually become one of Rome's most powerful leaders. Crassus's influence extended far and wide, shaping the political landscape of Rome. However, despite his riches and political influence, Crassus yearned for military glory, a feat he had yet to achieve. His ambition led him to launch a campaign against Parthia, a powerful empire in the east. This decision, driven more by personal ambition than strategic necessity, proved to be his downfall. The campaign was a disaster, with Crassus's forces suffering a crushing defeat at the Battle of Carrhae. The Parthians, aware of Crassus's insatiable thirst for wealth, decided to give him a fitting end. In a gruesome display of irony, they poured molten gold down his throat, symbolizing his unending greed. In a cruel twist of fate, Crassus, the man who defined wealth, met a tragic end when molten gold was poured down his throat. His quest for glory ended in tragedy, a stark reminder of the perils of ambition and greed. Marcus Crassus, a name synonymous with wealth and power, left an indelible mark on Roman history. His life is a testament to the reach of affluence, influencing politics and even military outcomes, such as the Spartacus Revolt. His role in the rise of Julius Caesar and the formation of the Triumvirate shaped Rome's destiny. Ultimately, however, his gruesome death served as a chilling reminder of wealth's transient nature. Crassus's story serves as a stark reminder of the fleeting nature of wealth and power and the profound impact they can have on society. Please like and subscribe to the channel.